Hello Miller Strategy Blog Gamers and LOTR SBG Team fans. We are here with our next video series. And it was a video series we talked about doing a long time ago, but uh, just uh, things got in the way, other projects took precedent, and uh, so now we're here with uh, our newest video uh, series, which is going to be um, Army Breakdown. And that's where we're going to look at some of the armies we've done in the past, look at their strengths, their weaknesses, and really how to how how I personally go about building an army and kind of some of the, the, the mindset of doing so. Um, sorry, I have not, I, I personally have not posted on the channel in a while. I'm very busy with life, uh, you know, uh, including getting married, so, <laughs> um, but, uh, of course I will always, uh, I enjoy posting videos and always enjoy, uh, Murder Strategy Battle Game, so, uh, I will continue to, uh, continue to post, and I, I think I finally found that balance I need so all right so. So this uh this program right here is um, a program called uh, what was it Lonely Night Army Builder? You can get it online. You have to have uh, Microsoft Excel, and um, you can pretty much use this to build any army you want. You have. And he's really good also about updating the software when a new supplement's released. So you have, um, like, the Fellowship, Shire, Rangers, Numenor, Minasterith, Fiefdom, Dunharo, Arnor. Um, all these armies. So, uh... Okay, but today we're going to focus on, just to get started here, we'll focus on the Stirith. <clears throat> Alright, so these, um, these little items up here are the upgrades that each unit can take. And these boxes kind of indicate if they can take them. If the box is uh, highlighted green, that means they can take them. I, I actually didn't reset these. Um, so it's also kind of a nice tutorial on how to use this software if you're not familiar with it. It's uh, really easy to use and does all the math for you and it does a bunch of other stuff. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at building an 800 point list. Uh, what I would like to have in it is Aragorn, um, possibly, definitely, uh, Ingold. A trebuchet, maybe Huron, or maybe uh, Emerald. I'm gonna reset these so we could go over how to how to select them. So, uh, but you know, Excel's <coughs> a really easy program to use, uh, and it's really uh, really good. It actually makes calculating your army easy and um, more efficient, you know, if a TO sees them send you the final product of this, then, yeah, okay, why even bother? <laughs> you know, there's no way to fudge the numbers with this. Alright, so, we're going to take Aragorn, he's going to leave Warband 1, so what we're going to do under Warbands here, type 1, that's the Warband he's going to lead, hit enter, and you have 225 points, and then here in the middle it just indicates um, but LSR is leading Warband 1. He's not leading any troops. He's not upgraded with anything. But we will want to give him a horse. So all you got to do is armored horse. All you want to do is click on the box, hit the number 1, and then hit enter. And it's selected. And there you have Aragorn. 
King Alasar with Armored Horse. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and go down to Warband number two, which will be, I guess, let's take, um, yeah, let's go and take Huron right now. And let's take in gold. Okay, so those are three solid heroes. Uh, let's go down here and take a. Let's take our trebuchet. And let's leave it right there for now. Oops. So it says right here two heroes leading. We just. We don't want to have him leading Warband 1 because Aragorn's our leading Warband 1, so we're just going to pick number 4. He's going to be Warband 4. Alright. Excellent. Okay. So I generally take in Warband uh, and Aragorn's Warband, I think I take about uh, 4 Swordmen, Minister Warriors. And let's go over here. I always upgrade them with shields. And then over here we have our um, uh, shield. And then spear guys. Okay, another thing you can do with this software is instead of hitting enter, enter brings it down. If you hit tab, it brings it to the side. So I'll show you what these guys are here. If you wanted to upgrade them with uh, shield, tab, spear, tab, and keep going over. I, I'm always in the habit of hitting enter though, um, but it just makes it easier to navigate. Okay, so that's what I want for Warband. To one so you so we're typing this in the air wars warband here four sword guys and let's do three actually let's do five and four five and four all right let's go ahead and take a night a couple of nights of ministerith Take a couple of nights of Ministerith. So, uh, go to your. Um, let's see. Let's give them a shield. That's what I really care about. And let's take uh, two of them. Okay. Then, of course, let's come down here and let's take some Fountain Court Guard. Let's take four. Okay, and if we need to take more, we can. And let's give our front court guard some shields, because why not? We always should. So there we go. We have 15 guys in Aragorn's Warband. Well, that's uh, pretty good um, pretty good numbers to play around with if we want to. We're at 600 points, so we're, we are kind of getting up to 800 pretty fast. Uh, so let's go ahead and take four. 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 All right. Four. Four. Yeah. See, we're already above eight hundred right now. So what we can do maybe is um, let's think about how we can do this. Let's go ahead and take, uh, let's go ahead and cut those out. That's not who I wanted. Okay, let's take four of the spear guys. That's what I wanted. All right, so we have seven points to play with. Let's go ahead and just take an additional guy. An additional crew. I think that's about seven points. Yep, it is. So that gives it 100 exactly. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about this army. Um, so we're taking Elisar, mounted, with an armored horse. Five Minister of Knights, upgrade with shield. Five uh, Minister of Knights, upgrade with shield and spear. Two Minister of uh, 
uh, two Mr. Knights Cavalry of the Comets. Um, four Minister of Fountain Court Guard with Shield. Here in the Tall, upgrading uh, a similar warband. And then uh, Ingle leading four Minister of Warriors with Shield. Four Minister of Warriors upgraded with Shield and Spear. <clears throat> and then, of course, our um, Trebuchet. So, Aragorn's a big tool in the army. Uh, Huron is um, kind of a, a good key to unit to have. It gives me the freedom to throw Aragorn into combat if I want. So now let's let's break down this army and uh, look at its strengths, look at its weaknesses, and possibly look at reasons maybe why we would want to bring in an ally uh, if if desirable. So we have LSR leading a 15-man uh, warband. Uh, here in leading a 12-man warband, Ingle leading an 8-man warband, and then the um, the Minister of Trebuchet with one additional crew guys. So I believe that would be a total of four guys in the crew. I believe the Minister of Trebuchet comes with three. So you're talking about 42 models. Okay. Uh, and you're shooting, you don't have bows, so your shooting is your trebuchet, which is good and bad. Good and bad. Um, this is the, actually the list I've been I'm looking at for a very long time, and uh, I think um, I'm going to take it out and see how it does. Some of its strengths uh, are, uh, of course, LSR and the trebuchet are both, uh, you know, hard hitters if they hit trebuchet is uh, uh, fairly inaccurate so um, it's a 50 50 chance to see if it hits um, that being said it is also a um, <clears throat> psychological kind of weapon so just because my opponent knows I have it they might start staggering their army which would be which would be good uh, Ingold is a uh, great for my shield wall he has no negative I guess effects of taking him and then of course Huron uh, is a uh, really nice to take he's uh, really feeds off Aragorn and Aragorn really feeds off him because of their unit uh, their rules together so um, I think if I, you're taking Aragorn you should take uh, take Huron um, Aragorn is fairly expensive, but he hits fairly hard. So I don't know if Ar it depends. Aragorn would have to take out, uh, I would say, one or two heroes a game to make up his points. And he has made up his points with me before. Maybe not the 275 mark he used to be at with his horse, but 240, he has made up his points for, for, with me before. So, but anyway. So, uh,. I hope you guys have liked this video. If there is an army that you want me to, uh, a specific list you guys want me to break down, I would, uh, you know, uh, leave a comment down below and we'll, we'll uh, put you in contact with us. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for all your support, and as always, enjoy your Middle Earth hobby.